I'll play a couple against Ollie Rose. I don't want to get too deep in the weeds against him, so I'll play a few. Not not a lot, but a few. Because this actually, I do want to stream for quite a while. And playing people like Ollie Rose, where I have to go 100% focus, it does take a lot of energy out of me. You think it's Bruzon? It could be, uh, you know, a few people have said Bruzon actually at this point. Um, let's play this one. No, I'm not playing 50 games. No, I mean, it's just because I, if I play 50 games, I'm going to unfortunately end my stream early. And I want to stream for quite a while today. So it's not going to be a super long, uh, super long match. And no, of course it's not Magnus, you guys. Come on. This D4, F6. Oh, it's no, it's much more different to play Ali Reza because I actually like I can't make make even it. There's a difference because against Nightmare, I can make some imprecise moves, but against Ali Reza, I can't make imprecise moves even. I have to be very sharp. Um, so there's a significant difference. I can obviously take, I can also just I don't want to take, but I will. Why would I play him? Because I want to play Blitz. I, I kind of I, I don't mind doing view arenas and things like that, but right now I do want to play some Blitz. He goes A4, interesting. I'll go here. Actually, that was probably stupid. He just goes like rookie two. Not very smart. Although maybe just rook D8 is fine. Goes bishop C3, which I find kind of interesting. I didn't think this was how you wanted to play this as white. I can play knight B6, bishop B4, A B4, maybe. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna go back and just play chess. That was probably a stupid move. In fact, it was probably a very stupid move. I don't even know why I did it. Okay, let's just play rook e8. I'll play queen e6 next move, I think, and try to trade again. He takes, which is also kind of interesting. He's going to go g3, I guess. No? Okay. Ah, he wants knight d2. Okay, now I see his idea. He wants to go knight d2, knight c4. So how do I counteract that is a big question. I don't really want to play knight f6, but I think it's fine. Knight d2, I go bishop b4 and trade, I guess. Okay, now I have bishop b4 for sure. <clears throat> okay, obviously I trade. Obviously I go rook d8. I can play rook d6 here, I guess. It's not great, but it's not terrible either. It's pretty balanced so far. Got knight h4, I'll go g6, of course. Um, b6 makes sense to go c5, I guess. Just to consolidate my chain of pawns, I think it makes sense. Got to be careful with some back rankers here, though, as well. Pretty dry position here. I mean, I don't really see much for either side. I'm going to go knight g4 and just drop back. It was h3. Okay, so now I'm going to reroute my knight, I think, the other way. Or did I just blunder some queen a6 thingy? Okay, he doesn't take advantage. I think he missed something there. Let's go knight c5. I think he had some queen a6. I'll check after the game just to see if my instincts are right or if they're just terrible today. Play h6, h5, g5, I guess. Maybe I'm going to go rook f8, actually. He's moving too slowly, I'm, I'm noticing. He's moving way too slowly here. Okay, but... Again, there's just nothing to do here. It's just like we're both just kind of struggling to move. Yeah, now he's he's happy with the draw because he's way down on the clock. I'm trying to find. I'm gonna try to play on somehow. It's just nothing to do. I can play. Maybe just rook here. How do I win this? Let me think for a sec. Let's 
go here. Boom! Mmm, come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, I think I'll just play this one. Wait, why did I do this? This actually is not great. I think I'm playing this down at tempo somehow. This doesn't look right. Yeah, he blundered his queen. Wow. I mean, no, but I mean, it, it, it's not shocking. I mean, he was getting low on time. Like, he was just, he wanted to draw, but he was indecisive. Like, he wanted to draw, but he was thinking too long on, on the half moves. Um, I think I'm down to temp. Again, I'm down to tempo here. I'm not sure why, but somehow I am. Uh, I think I go here in bishop f3, maybe. I have e5 here. Maybe just rook d1. Maybe h4 at some moment. I could have also traded. It was rook c8, so I can take now, I guess. I don't know if it's right, but it feels a little bit... This feels a little bit sketchy for black. I'm not really sure why, but it feels a touch sketchy with the queen on d4. It just feels sketchy somehow. If the queen was not on d4, I think takes is fine. But the fact that he's castle and the queen's on d4, it feels like... Yeah, he does this. Don't I have e5 here, or am I... Cr oh, I'm just insane? Oh, he just... I'm just insane here. Never mind. Okay, I'm insane. Probably just a draw. Um, why did I do that? That was insane. For some reason, I missed it. He had this uh, rook d8. Although, actually, I can even stack my queen here, maybe. Queen a3 takes takes bishop f3 gf3 rook c3 and it takes d3 trade trade i don't even know what's here 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 i don't even know what's going up i mean that's such a long end game that i really don't want to oh no i can't sack my queen or if i sack i have to sack this way but it's no good okay whatever let's just play it i, I don't want to waste time it's a take So rook c8 i mean he can take obviously i mean i honestly don't know what's going on in this end game i assume i'm losing but i, I it's probably actually a draw if i'd guess probably a draw okay he does that so i go here he takes i go here I don't actually know what's going on in this end game okay i can play rook d8 check for starters and also just go rook c1 here 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 i mean again i don't really know what's going on i don't know let's just do it i i don't know if this is winning or losing it's winning or losing i don't know which one it is i think it's probably a draw even though i have triple pawns because he can't actually create past pawns anywhere Black structure is better than mine, but the thing, it's very weird because it's like, I've got this past pawn that sort of crimps this king, even though I have no lolly checkmates, it sort of, it blocks as the king. And I don't know, I mean, it, maybe it's just losing somehow because I mean, again, I've got what, double and triple pawns. My king is more active here. <clears throat> but I get rid of one pawn. I think a5 was no it's just a draw yeah it's just a draw right yeah it's just a draw it's just a draw because what happens i go a4 he goes like h6 h3 and we just nobody can make progress so even though i have triple pawns here he can't touch them okay oh, there we go take win because of time no he's got 38 seconds there's no way i can win on time i, I i'm not even trying there okay he goes here let's go here Let's go here. Looking, looking at Tarjan. No, I'm pretty good actually. Thank you to Erm. 
Can you D-roll and Tupac for life? Isamora, Jenkins bras, all high form. No, it's just I didn't shower or anything. I basically just woke up and booted up my stream. I just did the XQC. The full XQC. Have I ever adopted all the resin? No, I don't think I've I think I've gotten to maybe six or seven once or twice, but that's it. But I've not I've not come close. Wait, don't I have Queen B4 here in 94? Or is this just a, some weird draw again? I don't know. This might not work. I'm going to try it. I might get my queen trapped here, but I'm going to try it. See if rook b3, knight e4 is good. If f3, queen b2, rook b3, queen a1, rook b1. I don't even know if this works, but I, I, I guess it's just a draw. It's just a draw. Maybe I'm, eh, it's just, whatever, a draw is a draw. Beggars can't be choosers, right? It's just a draw, I just got rook b3. If he moves the queen up, then I move my knight and I rotate. That's just a draw, frustrating. I mean, maybe he can try this, but yeah. La, 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 la. Okay, we'll do one more. Play E4. Yeah, so I'm I I think I you know I'm actually gaining points because all the rest is so high rated that it's minus two for draws, I think. I think. Or no, I'm not gaining points. Wait, no, I was 3255 at the start, wasn't I? So now it's plus six minus two at this rating point, but it wasn't okay. It wasn't at the start. Interesting. Let's play here in two. I think Bishop G5 takes 93, 95 is actually very attractive here. I don't even know if it's r really right necessarily, but I'm going to do it anyway. Let's try to route the other pony around. I think I'll go knight D5, maybe knight C4 here. Now I'll put the other knight on E3 and on F5 I take and go F4. If I get Bishop B3, it's a very interesting kind of position. Plays b5. a4 is always a move here. I don't know if it's a good move, but I'm going to play it anyway. Okay, b4, I go here. Want the bishop on this diagonal, so I'm just going to go. You can always trade. I'll just go here. Knight a5, I take and then put the bishop on c4, I thought. Is b3 really a threat is a question. I can go knight c4, bishop d5, e d5. That's probably very drawish. I'm just going to take and put the bishop here. If he takes, we end up in a classic two knights versus two bishops. I have a bastion, but he does have kingside counterplay, so it's not clear at all in terms of what's going on. Okay, goes knight c6. Probably a logical move. I can play b3. I think rook c1 and b3 makes more sense. I also have knight c2. Okay, I'm going to play b3 first. Put everything on the light squares. This is important. I have f5, I'm obviously taking. I move my king, I guess, to h1, because if I play f4 ever, I don't want some bishop e5 tricks. It goes king h8. I can play knight c7 here. I can also go knight c2. I'm going to go knight c2 to trade the knights. Thank you to know yes420 for the 13. Thank you so much to the fire guy for the five gifted. Thank you so much. He does this. He wants to draw. <laughs> um, why am I not surprised by any of this? It's kind of hard to play this for a win, though. <clears throat> I mean, he's got some kind of... I, maybe I had some way to play better than this, but I didn't see it, so we'll see what's happening here. I mean, he can obviously sack, and I, I don't... I guess I have knight f4, knight g2 at the end. Oh, I can't go up. Uh, g3, queen h3, knight f4. Let's go g3. Because queen h3, I go knight f4, and I fork him, and then I take, and then I, he gets forked this way, too, by the pony. Okay, now I'm going to go king h2. 
Oh, there was a free pawn on B4, I just realized. That was a free pawn that I just missed. That was just a... Oh my gosh, that was so bad. That was just a free pawn. I could have just eaten the juicer. Okay, it gives me a chance to eat the juicer again. Um, am I going to miss it this time? I don't think I am. Unless there's some trick. But takes, I just take. Yeah, he just, he just missed this. I mean, he can go rook h5, but it's kind of ugly now for black. Okay, now I just go back. And now b4, this is terrible for black. Okay, he goes a5. I kind of expected that. You can play h4. Okay, I'm definitely much better here. I just need to not panic and finish this game off in style. Let's go. Let's just go here. Because if he takes, I take. Oh, and he's got takes? Still should be really good with a knight, though. Should be very good. Again, I trans transferred this to some kind of other endgame that I wasn't thrilled by. Okay, let's just move the king here, maybe? Then f5. Queen c4, f5 is the ba basic threat that he has. Let's go here. Okay, he goes rook b8. Strange move. Let's go queen c4. Let's go here. Knight d3, maybe. Okay, now I'm definitely much better. Go here. I mean, I can always flag him if I want to. I don't really want to flag him though. I want. I kind of want to make a statement that like I don't. I don't really generally want to win like that against him. Like I, I want to win clean games. I can also go e5. I'm gonna go here. Let's just go here. Okay. Trapped his rook and we win the game. There we go. We get the dubs. Get the more more dubs. Three to one. Pretty good. And I gain, amazingly, I gain like six points for going plus two against him. Now, again, you guys, I'm, I'm not... I, the only reason I'm not going to play more against him right now is because we're pretty early in the stream. And I don't want to tire myself out. Um, and playing Ali Reza is pretty, pretty stressful. Um, so, I will say that. It, it is pretty stressful. I'm not going to lie. Um... But normally I will play more just since we're so early. If I if I play him like I can tell you what would happen. If I keep playing, I'm playing like ten more games. Um, I'm gonna be like sauce when we're only like two hours. We're only like two and a half hours into the stream, and I, I really want to stream for like I want to cover Pog Champs. I have some articles. I have a lot of stuff to do today. Which in in many ways, again, you guys is a big credit to um to Ali Reza because like Nightmare, I could play Nightmare all day long and I wouldn't get tired. Um, but yeah, uh, I I will say that. Yeah, like, if I play Nightmare, I could literally play him 100 games every day, and it, w it wouldn't tire me out. But when I play Ali Reza, it's not a joke. 